In this video, I'm gonna show you how I can remotely control an Android phone. If you install software or I use a special cable, an OMG cable, to get that phone to download and install software, I can remotely control the phone, I can read your SMSs, I can send SMSs from the phone to another phone, which I'll demonstrate. May this video be a warning to both you and your family why you shouldn't download untrusted software and run untrusted software on devices such as your phone or your laptop. Before we get started, I wanna make it clear that this video is for educational purposes only and to make you aware of the potential vulnerabilities in a device such as an Android phone. It's really important that you don't download untrusted software onto your devices because it can have devastating consequences. Don't just trust any software and download it. Also be aware that just because it looks like a standard cable doesn't mean that it is a standard cable. I'm gonna show you in this video how a cable that looks like a standard USB cable or an iPhone cable can be a malicious cable and not what it looks like. Okay, let's get started with the video. Even though these two cables may look the same, one of them is an OMG cable that allows me to send keystrokes to a phone. It acts like a normal cable, but has a lot of power. Here I've got a Samsung S22. I'm not gonna touch the phone. I'm running software in the cloud and notice what I can do. I can send a message from the cloud to this phone to get that phone to send a message to this phone. So what I'll do here is use the command send SMS and let's call this fake SMS and press enter. I'll go to messages and as you can see there, fake SMS was received by this phone. Let's try it again. This is a test SMS from Android, press enter. Once again, I'm connecting to a server in the cloud. It's sending a message to this phone. I'm remotely controlling this phone, which is then sending a message via SMS to my iPhone because I've been able to install malicious software on the Android device. I find it amazing that Android allows you to download and install this kind of software. Let's hope they lock Android down a lot more so that this type of thing is not possible. Please note in this example, it's showing up as main activity on the phone. In a previous video, I showed you how I could log keystrokes on a Windows 11 computer when software was downloaded and run on a Windows 11 laptop. Use the link below to see that video. Now you can do many things here as an example, if I type sysinfo, you can see that this phone is running Android 12. If I go to settings on the phone, you can see that the version being used here is Android 12. I can read SMSs remotely. So if I use the command dump SMS, those messages are saved to this file on the server. And I could use the command cat and I can read those SMS messages. I sent an SMS saying extremely important message, do not share with anyone. Very confidential message, do not show anyone. Here is a one-time password from three, which is the cell phone provider in this example. Here is my number, which we'll hide for this video so that I don't get a whole bunch of spam messages. As you can see, messages were received by this phone. I could send a message back saying, hello from iPhone. So send those messages back to the phone, you can see here, hello from iPhone. So on my server, once again, I could dump those SMSs. I'll read that file on the server, cat, control V. Here are the messages, hello from iPhone. Here you can see the message, this is a test SMS from Android, fake SMS. Let's call the phone. I'll kill the call. Let's dump the call log. What I'm gonna do here is use the command dump call log. Here's the file that's created and I'll cat that information and you can see this call was missed by the phone. Okay, but how do you get the software on the phone? Now there are various ways to do this. You could use a phishing website, so you could trick the user into going to a website and then downloading the software and installing it, but they have to agree to install software that hasn't been verified. So you've got to really do some social engineering to get to the user to install the software. What we're gonna do in this demonstration is use an OMG cable. If you haven't seen these before, these are made by Hack5. Well, MG is actually the creator, but he sells these cables with uh, Hack5. This is a standard lightning cable, but here is a OMG cable. So you probably can't see the difference between those two cables. One is an OMG cable, one is a standard cable. Very difficult to see the difference. They are essentially the same. They act like normal cables, but have a AP inside them that you can connect to using Wi-Fi. They can send keystrokes to a device such as a phone. If I plug this in to a phone as an example, I 
could charge that phone normally. It acts like a normal cable, but what it allows me to do is send keystrokes to the phone to get to the phone to do something. So as an example, I could plug this cable in to that phone. I'll just leave it here unconnected just to make the point that I'm not gonna touch the cable. What I can do is connect to an access point in the cable. So from my computer, I'm gonna connect to the OMG cable that's running an access point. And what I'm gonna do is connect to an IP address 192.168.4.1. I've covered some of the OMG functionality in separate videos. Have a look at this video as an example where I send keystrokes to the phone to get it to take a photo or do other things. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna load a pre-configured payload. I've created this payload. You can find this payload on GitHub. Use the link below. It may or may not work for your particular phone. In this example, this payload has been created for a Samsung S22 phone. You may need to adjust, especially the timers. What we're basically doing is sending keystrokes to the device, and then there's delays between the keystrokes. I've made them fairly large so that it doesn't go too quickly on the video, but also if you make them too quick, it can break your script. So you may have to play around with the timers to get this to work. What we're basically doing is getting the device to download a malicious APK file from a server. The server is running on Linode, who I want to thank for sponsoring this video. You can use the link below to get a $100 60-day credit so that you can try this for yourself. I've already got the server running. Here it is, so Metasploit Ubuntu APK server, and you'll notice that's the IP address listed in the string that's going to be sent to the phone to download the malicious APK. What we're using here is Metasploit and MSF Venom to create a malicious APK file, which is then downloaded to the the phone, gets the phone to connect to my server, and then I can type various commands, which I've demonstrated. So I've got Metasploit running, and I'll simply type run to run the software. I'll start my Python server. My Python HTTP server is listing on port 8000. I've got my payload running. It's listing on port quadruple four onto this IP address in the script running on the OMG cable. That's the IP address that we're going to point to, port 8000, because of the Python server. We're going to download the OMG APK file. Okay, so let's see if it actually works. I'm not going to touch the cable. I'll move this keyboard away. All I'm going to do is click run. Payload is running on the OMG cable. It opens up a web browser. There you go. Connects to the server. It downloads the APK file. I've once again put long delays in the script to make sure that this works and to make sure that it doesn't go too quickly. Installs the file. We told that it's blocked by Play Protect, but we're gonna send keystrokes to tell it to run it anyway and install it and then open up the file. It then allows that app to access everything on the phone basically And there you go, script has completed. We can see that a connection was made to the server. Now we can type various commands. I can type ifconfig, that gives me the IP address of the device. There's WLAN zero, there's the IP address of the device. Now if the session breaks, just type run to run it again. The software should automatically connect. If it doesn't, just run it manually again. So let's type sysinfo. We can see that this is an Android 12 phone. Let's dump the SMSs again. So we'll use the command dump SMS. We told that the SMSs are dumped to that file. So Alice on the server, let's do L. The file is this one. So cat that file. You can see that there was an outgoing message called this is a fake SMS. You can see that I topped up this phone. So I put 10 pounds on it. You can see that I sent this is a very confidential message. This is a test message. We could dump the call log. So call log. That's the name of the file. So I'll cat that. And you can see various calls were made to this phone. Okay, but we can also send SMSs from the phone once again. So another test SMS from Metasploit. And there you go, a, another test SMS from Metasploit. Just to make the point, let's say, last message. Now remember, I'm sending it from a host on the internet. It's sending a message to that phone. That phone is then sending an SMS to this phone. Last message. We shouldn't be able to do this on an Android phone. It shouldn't accept applications such as this. Default behavior should be to block all these types of applications. Do not download software from the internet that you don't trust. Don't just download an APK and run it on your phone because someone could do stuff like this where they 
can read the messages on your phone. They can do things on your phone that they shouldn't be able to do. I have attached a PDF document below this video that shows you how to set this up. You need a OMG cable. And then in this document, I'll show you how to set up a server. I'll show you how to download the Metasploit framework. I show you how to create the malicious payload. So the OMG APK file, I then show you the commands to set this up. You also need to set up a web server. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and clicking on the bell to get notifications. I wanna wish you all the very best. Thank you.